Hi, and welcome to The Horse Portal. My name is Matt Houlihan, and I'm the Education Programs Administrator here at Equine Wealth. And on behalf of the staff, I'd like to welcome you to Horse Behavior and Safety. This short video will give you an introduction to The Horse Portal, and will show you how to access the course, complete your lessons, earn your certificate, and how to join in the class discussions. If you do run into any problems uh, during your time, please email us at horseportal at uoguelph.ca and we'll do our best to help you out. So let's get started. This is the Horse Portal. And if you haven't already done so, we're gonna go ahead and log in to the Horse Portal using the email and password that you created when you registered. Uh, if you do forget your password, there is a link right here. Just click that, select your email, and an email will be sent to you and you can start the process to get a new password. So I have my email and password saved to my browser. You can choose to do that if you wish. And once I log in, you'll be able to access all the different features of your account. So you can see any courses that you've registered for, any certificates that you've earned, and you can make changes to your account and profile uh, however you wish. Now, normally you'd be able to see your course right here. I happen to have a lot of them, so it's a little easier for me actually to go to available short online courses. And there we'll see horse behavior and safety. Click that and that will take us to the home page right there. This is the course home page, and this is where you'll be able to find all of the key elements of the course. So your lessons, any announcements, quizzes, discussions, or extra resources could be found here and you can quickly find these important elements along this black nav bar here. So resources, quizzes, uh, discussions, and from time to time your instructor or myself might post an announcement. And this will appear on the home page right around here and this is something that we encourage you to check out regularly. This could be important information about special events or resources or discussions that are worth checking out. So keep your eye out for announcements each time you log in. Uh, once you're ready to get started, click View Lessons here, and I'll snap you down the page, and these are the lessons of the course. And we can get started. Click the first one, 1.1, 1 .1, and we're ready to get started. This is the first lesson of the course, and it will go into a little bit more information about what to expect throughout the different units. So all the course material that you'll need will be found within these lesson pages. So we'll embed or link to any outside resources that you might need. On the side here, we have a list of all of the different units and lessons of the course. So you can go backwards and forwards as you wish in case you wanna go back and check something out that you may have missed. Uh, something I'd like to point out down here are a list of some of the icons that you'll run into as you work your way through the course. So we have discussions. Uh, this is an opportunity to join in a conversation with our guest expert or our course instructor. Uh, did you know? So interesting and fun facts. Learning activity, something for you to do. Helpful hints, these are tips or suggestions to help you out and further your understanding of the material. And last, we have the extra mile. And this is optional readings and videos so that you can go above and beyond uh, what is covered in the course. These are optional, but we do encourage you to check them out, maybe bookmark them and save them for later. Once you've finished everything in a lesson, what you're going to want to do is mark lesson complete. Now there was something we need to do here, which is a discussion, and we'll come back to that in just a second. But assuming that we finish that, we'll click Mark Lesson Complete, and that will take us to the second lesson of the course. And to complete the course, work your way through all the units and mark them all as complete, and you'll earn your certificate at the end. 
Now, it's time to take a look at that discussion. In the first lesson of the course, there was a activity here for a discussion and to introduce yourself to your fellow students. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we'll need to go to the discussions area and you can find that at the top of the page in this black nav bar here and discussions. And when we click on discussions, we'll see that there's a few different discussion forums for your use um, that uh, each have their own uh, particular purpose. So we have questions for the instructor, uh, general questions about the course or anything you're concerned with. If you do have um, run into any issues, need some technical support, please reach out to us at courseportal at uoguelph.ca and we'll help you out that way. Our guest expert will be joining us in the second week of our course and we definitely recommend that you check that out. Um, we'll be posting an announcement about this in the first week of the course to remind you, but an excellent opportunity to ask your questions and join in the conversation. Last, we have uh, unit discussions, and this is any discussion related to uh, any of the units or lessons of the course. So if there's something in one of the uh, lessons that we're talking about, you can discuss it right there. The one that we need is student introductions. So let's click that. And there we have leave a comment. Oops, always a good idea to have a subject line. You can enter in your message. And a couple of things that will help you out here. We have a, um, you can insert a link. So if there's a resource or something interesting that you think people would like to check out, go ahead and click that. Or you can add media. So if there's a photo that you'd like to share, perhaps of your horse or your facility, or something that you're curious about, you can upload it from your computer and post it within your comments so we can all take a look. When you're happy with uh, what you've posted, go ahead and click post new comment and that will appear for everyone to see. And if when you post something you decide, mm, maybe I wanna make a little change here, for about 30 minutes after you post, you can click edit and make any changes that you wish. Beyond that, reach out to either myself or your instructor and we'll be able to go back and make any changes. If you'd like to reply to somebody else, click this black arrow here on the comment that you'd like to respond to. And what we'll do is we'll refresh the page and it'll say, leave a reply. So now you can put your response, post that, and it will appear underneath the initial comment there as a reply. Uh, just a quick reminder to make sure that when you're using the discussion forum to keep your post positive, uh, respect your fellow classmates and instructors, and share only those things that you feel comfortable sharing with others. Now, let's go back and finish off our course. This is the final lesson of the course, and assuming that you've gone through all of the other lessons and marked them as complete and done all of the course quizzes, all that good stuff, once you mark this lesson as complete at the bottom of the page, you will finish the course and receive your certificate. You can double check to see if a lesson has been marked complete because it will be crossed out on the sidebar here. If all of them are crossed out, you should receive your certificate. If you have any issues with that, again, reach out to us and we'll do our best to assist. Before you finish off, uh, we would appreciate you take a few minutes here to complete our course survey at the end. This is your opportunity to share your thoughts with us about uh, the course. What did you like? What do you think we could improve? And what are some things you'd like to see in the future? This feedback is incredibly important for us. It helps us improve our courses and to build new ones. Uh, we are always excited to hear your feedback and um, you can also reach out to us by email if you have anything you'd want to discuss about the course. Um, just a reminder that as you are working your way through, 
you have an additional three weeks beyond the course period to finish up. So if you're a little bit behind or you want to take some extra time with the material, uh, just remember you do have that time available to you. So once we've closed and received our certificate, um, you'll be able to go back and find it by going to my account and clicking my certificates. So that's been our tour of the horse portal. We hope that you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Once again, we're thrilled to have you join us for horse behavior and safety and welcome to the horse portal.